So we have explained the general idea of authorization. Right now, let's go ahead and start typing some code to basically implement the role-based authentication that we have talked about or authorization. So here we have we are on the API and on the server project, let's say. And those are the set of middleware that basically the HTTP request passes from one to another until like it ends or one of those basically returns the uh, the response back to the user so or to the client we have here the use authentication and we have here the use authorization so basically like this one we are going to use the role based authorization which means we are going to set the role claim and then this middleware will be responsible for that whenever we call any controller that has the basically the authorized and requires a role or we have a set of policy that also requires a role then this middleware will be like responsible for this but where we are going to set the role claim or right now our access token doesn't have one so this is why we are going to go ahead and create our own custom middleware that will basically set the role claim for the the, the user identity so after the authentication we will have the user populated and here we are going to set the role claim and then the the authorization middleware will see the claim then and will take the responsibility of the rest of the job so i'm going to click here and i'll create a new folder and i'll call this folder middlewares middlewares so here we are going to create our own custom middleware and what this custom middleware will do basically just going to the a user profile services fetch the user profile for the authenticated user and then retrieve the as organizer property and if it's true then okay add the role claim with the value of organizer or add it as a user so that's it it's very simple and then the rest of the job will be like already handled by asp.net for us so i'll click on create a new class and i'll call this one custom identity middleware just like this so basically you can create the middleware directly from here using like app.use and then you can go ahead and create your delegate over here that's going to be executed but we can also put it in a separated class and this class should have a public constructor custom identity that takes request delegate this request delegate is responsible for handling the http so read only request delegate next and this dot or next equals next okay perfect so this one will pad the request will process and pad the request to the next middleware and it should also has a public function that's called invoke or invoke async and basically return the task so task invoke async and it's going to take http context at the first parameter and we need we need basically to inject the i user profile service to be able to fetch the user profile so to inject here it's not going to the dependency injection is not going to be on the level of the constructor but it's going to be on the level of a method so if we want to inject something let's just do it here so i user profiles service user profiles service so look at that that's it it's a pretty simple and right now what we want to do basically is to check if the user like is logged in so var context dot user dot identity dot is authenticated and at the end what we are going to do is basically next and we pass the context so this will pass the request to that next pipeline so or the next middleware sorry so here if the user is logged in what we want to do is we should go ahead and fetch the user profile of uh, the logged in user and to do so i'm going to type var user profile equals await user profile service dot get profile by user id async so if you remember this method will retrieve the user profile for the logged in user so right now i have it here 
So I'm going to check if user profile dot you can see here it returns operation response so we have a success or we have record i'm going to check for record if it's not null what's going to happen basically if it is not null which is very simple we are going to add a new identity for this user over here and what's going to happen this identity will contain uh, the role claim so i'm going to type like this context dot user dot add identity as you can see and this identity is a group of claims or a collection of claims let's say so let me remove this and add using statement instead okay and here we can add identity ah sorry claim Just like this so the claims identity has a set of claims and this you will have only one claim and the type of the claim is claim types dot role it is this one and its value is basically it's going to be I'm gonna type like this string role name equals user profile dot is organizer uh, sorry dot record dot is organizer then the value called organizer other than that it's going to be user so this is the name of the role you can fetch it like in, in any other way because if you are building a project not like this one so you have the role like if you have multiple roles so what you can do is you can just add multiple uh, role claims the same type but with multiple values so in this case you have multiple roles and this is like role name and simply it is, that's it so it is that simple so once you like take a look at this this one will add identity and right now we are going to set a breakpoint and we will test this and we will see like how it's going to perform how the user will be affected and we will see the role claims available and then when the request will go to the user authorization it will check that okay this user had this claim and like his role is like this so whenever we call any controller or any endpoint in the controller that requires that role it's going to be processed and it's not going to throw like 403 forbidden or 401 like you are not authorized and so on so right now we have created our middleware let's go ahead and use that middleware it's like this use middleware and pass the name of the middleware here so like this add that and simply that's it so add the role claim so and as you can see if the user is not authenticated or if the role is not exist just do nothing and pass to the next uh, meddler because if you are trying to access any protected resource that requires a specific claim th this will return like 403 so here we go this is basically everything we need to implement that server side and what we want to do right now is to test this and basically to do so I'm going to go for the user forecast controller here and it's already authorized so the user cannot access this if he's not like logged in but right now I'm going to make this one requires the organizer role so I will add roles equals organizer and you may ask like why it's roles and it takes only one string because you can pass multiple roles and this like like this like it should be admin and user so this is how you can pass multiple roles for like this this property over here so right now this one won't be asked by any normal user it should be an organizer so let's see i am gonna set a breakpoint over here and let's see how the request will be processed whenever we try to reach uh let's say or i'm gonna add it here basically because the user is logged in when we try to access or to make any request for the server so i'm right now in the blazor client project so whenever i click on fetch data if you remember like it's going to ask me for the login and after that it will try to fetch the user from forecast from the api but right now it requires the the user to be organizer 
So here we go, we have been, right now we are logged in, waiting for the client and like we have received the request and you can see over here that we have like this breakpoint hat and we are authenticated and if we click on user, open up this one and then if I go to the claims property, you can see right now I have a 17 claims provided by the Azure Active Directory PTC, you can see those are the claims and I don't have role claim because yeah, roles are like not available on the level of Azure PTC right now, straightforward. So let's see what's going to happen. If I go this, okay, this will retrieve the user profile of the logged in user. Okay, that's great. Right now I have the profile over here and if I check the record and basically it's organizer, then the role should be added. Okay, cool. Right now I have the role name organizer. If I click F11, so user right now, if we check, we, as you can see, we have two identities, the one provided by uh, the Azure Active Directory P2C and the one we have just added. But if you check the total claims right now, they are 18 claim basically because the counting started from zero and you can see that the role is organizer. So let's see. If it's going to be able to fit the user forecast for us or no, then in this case, and here we go, it initializes and it is basically getting the user forecast for us while it's only for organizers. So I'm going to go to the database and update the as organizer set it to zero just to check how things will go. So update user profiles because I have only one. I'm not going to set a where property, a where filter. So just like this and what's going to happen is basically I will try to fetch it again and right now so if you have a look right now the role is user and if you continue oh we get an error this is exactly what we want because if we go here and we check the output window, you can see that response status code doesn't indicate success. It's 403 forbidden because this user, okay, he's logged in, but he's not able to access the weather forecast because it's only for organizer. So congratulations, we have implemented our own custom like role mechanism just to fetch the role and then add it to the user manually and it just works perfectly right now. Okay, this is on the server side and it's just working perfect and it's that easy. How we are going to do this from the client side? We are going to discover something new and very interesting. So don't forget to subscribe to stay tuned for the upcoming video to deal with a cool factor or cool stuff. So thank you so much for watching and see you.